So, hello and welcome to another class of baby mammal sciences. This is Abhishek with you. So, today I'll be talking about stem cells. So, stem cells is a very interesting topic and very interesting to know about because you may have heard um, several things about stem cells that it can heal everything, it can generate anything. But uh, so much is there, so much research is ongoing day by day, every day. Several research papers are there. But no one is or nothing is fully bulletproof. So let that be like that. So today I'll be telling you the basics of stem cells. What are they and what are the potency levels and how it you can find one. So let's start. So stem cells are the cells which can differentiate to any kind of cells. And not only that, during differentiation, they can retain their pluripotency or they can retain their potency to divide for multiple cell cycles or many cell cycles but without losing its potency okay and self-renewal they can renew themselves whenever it is necessary in its previous form or in its present form so self-renewal and differentiation to any kind of cell is the primary uh, aspect of stem cells okay so self renewal differentiation to in kind of cells so these are the two aspects of uh, stem cells which make them stem cells okay now stem cells are of two types okay first one is embryonic stem cells another one is adult stem cells Okay, so embryonic stem cells you can simply say yes cells which can be found or which are from many years are cultured from mouse and uh, that mouse embryonic stem cells are very uh, intensively used in case of research and in case of mammals you can get the embryonic stages like uh, the zygote form or the for an abortion that thing uh, that baby can serve as an embryonic stem cell. Okay, so that immature embryo can serve as embryonic stem cells. In case of adult stem cells, you can go for the uh, bone marrow that is mature bone marrow which needs extraction from the adult body that is uh, bone marrow. So bone marrow. Okay, and here you can say embryo. Which can serve as embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells, which can serve as a bone marrow, or there are adipose tissues. Okay, so there are several ethical issues, including uh, means associated with this kind of stem cell research. There are so much ethics related things which cannot or which can you do when you are going for a stem cell research. So that's a different part. Now I'm coming to, uh, I'm going to potency levels that how the stem cells are differentiated, how they control the life form or how they can form a totally fully formed body. So it depends all about their potency that also deals with again self renewal and differentiation to any kind of cells in maintaining their stemness without losing their stemness. Okay. First potency levels. First one is toti potency. Or toti potent cells, you can say. So this toti potency deals with the same cell renewal and differentiation stage but this cells this cells can form 
a total organism and how is it formed it forms due to fusion of egg plus sperm that is you know zygote so that zygote forms a total total body of an organism so that cells which contain within this is totipotent cells and uh, for further few divisions for few divisions after this zygote we can also say or it can stay up to that as a totipotent cells totipotent cells so these cells can transform themselves or can differentiate into any kind of cells which are necessary to form a living organisms and the form of this type is zygote which forms during the uh, generation of a or uh, just generation of a total body of a mammal okay next potency is pluripotency So, pluripotency or pluripotent cell are the further divided form of the totipotent cells which can differentiate into any cells differentiate into any cells but not placenta. So this kind of pluripotent cells can differentiate into any kind of cells except placenta. So that makes them pluripotent cells and their ancestors are totipotent cells. So next one is multipotent cells. So multipotent cells are those cells which are further transformed or further differentiated part of pluripotent cells and their job is limited to, they can also maintain their stemness, they can also differentiate, uh, they can also divide maintaining their undifferentiated form in, as in multipotent cells. But the difference from pluripotent to multipotent cells is that they always differentiate within the close relative ones. So close relative cells will be formed by this kind of multipotent cells like blood cells. Suppose lymphocytes, neutrophils, Like that, the close relatives of the uh, hematopoietic cells will be formed by this kind of multipotent cells. So the, here it is the part of or the further form of pluripotent to multipotent cells. So multipotent cells can be found into several tissues like blood and cardiac tissues like mesenchymal stem cells. Mesenchymal stem cells, cord blood. These are all kind of multipotent cells. So most of the research is going on like how to convert multipotent cells into pluripotent cells as they are their ancestors. So if you can maintain this pluripotency from multipotency, then there is a huge breakthrough. And it will be a huge breakthrough in this research field. So next I'll be going to oligopotency so next is oligopotency so their field is also narrower than multipotent cells as they can be very very narrow for two kinds of cells like 
myeloid so first i'll go for progenitor cells so they actually deals with progenitor cells oligopotency and they can differentiate two types of cells that is myeloid progenitor cells and lymphoid progenitor cells so these two part can be divided from oligopotent cells so their work is focused and they can also maintain their stainless because they're going to divide from one part or one cell to another cell that times both cells are stem cells so without being differentiated they maintain their stemness in the form of oligopotent cells and same applies to other cells like totipotent cells pluripotent cells or any other kind of that potency levels so this is very crucial to maintain their cell cycle and restrict their cell cycle without being undifferentiated or losing their stemness at a particular stage or a particular type of cell so that is very very important now the last one is unipotent cells so it's a very controversial cell type unipotent cells as uh, yet not proved uh, that unipotent cells are there but still hepatocytes from hepatoblast are thought to be or are thought it may be as a kind of it can behave as a unipotent stem cells so it is also stem cells but it maintain their stemness as a hepatocyte cells which comes from hepatoblast so this is the four potency levels sorry five uh, potency levels that is totipotent pluripotent multipotent oligopotent and unipotent cell cells types of stemness or stem cells which help in form a living organism or mammalian body and all these are very very important whether when you are uh, developing stage or you are in developed stage so so the stem nature is very very high when you are just uh, from the zygote to embryo stage and further going but once we are going to more and more at the adult stage the stemness of the cells will be reduced and the self renewal capability will be much more reduced so this is a very important aspect of stem cells and these potency levels determines the future research and very interestingly hematopoietic stem cells what i'm saying is how you can apply them like uh, suppose one severely immunocompromised host or any kind of patient which do not have that hematopoietic stem cells so if you can just transplant a hematopoietic stem or uh, that stemness of a cell particularly it can generate their again generate their immune system or it can evoke their immune system and make them again potent against the antigens and pathogens or suppose you are suffering from kidney disease where you can just transplant the stem cell which will generate a kidney cell type so there are another type of stem cell which i am going to tell you but uh, so so many research is also going on depending on particular stem uh, cell that is induced stem cell so you can just induce stemness into a cell through some uh, stimulants to make them stem cells or to behave them stem cells without maintaining or losing their stemness so that are called ipscs ipscs so this uh, i will make this class basic only so i'm not going in depth about all the things so i hope this will give you a very clear concept of stemness and stem cells so if you have any question please ask me in the comment section if you like my video give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for further videos thank you